Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 79, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. Hello, Arcadius. Alright, so we had a lot happen those last few episodes, and, and uh, so much so that the last one got broken into two parts. Uh, the latter part aired this morning on YouTube. Friendly reminder, if you're watching the live stream, all this goes up on YouTube later. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can know the future by watching the live stream every Friday at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. In either case, links are somewhere down below where you see this uh, shiny face. <laughs> all right, so... I, I I did try to get a little bit of work done in between last week's series and this week's series because it was bothering me that a lot of the armor and weapons were very haphazard. And I got through getting the armor squared away on almost everyone until I realized that I couldn't get the droids, the top armor that I have available for them because most of them have not been leveled up to the point where where I could where I could actually make effective use of the equipment I had on hand or make or buy the equipment that I need to get them up to the best I can get them up to. So for episode 79, my main focus is going to be doing some crew leveling. And then I'm going to take at least one, possibly two more episodes to do some crew check-ins. Because we should be at a point where we can start talking to some people and moving some of the, the, the interpersonal storylines forward with all my minions. And then from there, we're going to head over to Andoran and uh, move on to the next planet's worth of quests. Uh, although, I might try to finish up one more here because if you look over... No, not the map. The quest log. Uh, we got Finding the HK Factory. We're going to have to wait until we bunch, bump into another bunch of HK 50s. And then we should be able to do something about that. Uh, we got the Lost Jedi, so we, we, we still got to find more of those guys. We got the Trade Routes bonus mission, and and that we that's an ongoing thing. Um, but the smuggling on Citadel Station, we never actually moved that one forward, and I found out why. I found out what conversation I needed to have, and uh, I, I, I might do that after the leveling and before the crew check-ins. Okay, so that's three whole minutes to get all, all, the, all the things we're going to do. Possibly, maybe. Not possibly, maybe. That we're going to do. And we're going to start with uh, T3. Now, since the, I don't have to worry about converting the droids to Jedi or Sith, uh, which is both good and kind of like, okay. <laughs> I mean, I can make everybody else a Jedi or Sith. Um... I don't know if there are any Force-sensitive droids. I don't think there are. I don't think that's a thing. Um, anyway, let me get these guys leveled up first, so that way I can do some equipping on them. And we'll start with T3, our faithful little astromech, who is almost capped out on light side. I wonder if he gets a plus three to con uh, at some point. That'd be kind of nice. All right. Now... Remember, our primary goal with T3 is he is our skill droid. Him and Berdur are our two skill guys. Like, if we need anything, anything that has, that is skill-based, they're the people to do it. I'm going to equip him with two really nice blasters because if he's going to be wheeling around behind me, he better be useful in a fight. You've seen how this game rolls. Do you really want somebody who can't wield a blaster tooling around behind you, taking up a party slot. Yeah, I thought that's what I thought. So let's go to the attributes, and hmm. so I could bump up his wisdom, which would actually give him a small bump to his will save. He has no Jedi powers, no anything else, so that's all that really helps him with. But that would give him an immediate boost to his will save, which is kind of nice. Uh, especially if I run into anybody who tries to do a stun droid or something like that. Um, I could bump his dexterity up one more, which increases his defense. 
because he does get his dexterity bonus to defense. It will also increase his chance to actually hit with said blasters. And it will increase his ability to use dex-based skills, like, I don't know, disabling mines. That seems really useful. So, and, and of course, I don't, I don't think he has any constitution-based issues other than hit points. So, with all that said and done, I'm going to do the dexterity this time. I might do the wisdom the next time and throw the next couple of points into constitution. Just because I, I've never heard somebody say, I have too many hit points. Just saying. But uh, the dexterity gives me the most benefit right now. And it still helps in the long term too. So, bam. 18 dex. Plus four to all those dex-based skills, defense, and uh, attacks. Okay. And speaking of skills, uh, that's right. He's going to max out security and repair and computer use. And we added demolitions as a class skill the last time we leveled him up. So we're going to go ahead and dump all our extra points in there. We're going to try to get demolitions caught up. Um... I kind of wish I, I had actually done the same with stealth, only because I didn't realize some of the crafting stuff does require a high stealth score to build. So that might just have to be Bowder or one of the other minions. Because I know I got somebody that I keep topping off stealth, I just don't remember who. That seems like it could be a problem. Okay, and accept, and he's got another level coming, and skills, we're going to do the same thing, security, repair, computer use, and dump the rest into demolitions. Oh, <laughs> that is the rest. Okay, and accept, and oh, no, that's it. He's a expert droid level 17. Sweet. And I think because we've been working with him all along, other than maybe not having the best uh, pistols I can give him. And I might have to wait until next weekend to do that. Uh, he should be pretty well equipped with everything else that we're going to do. We'll come back around for the equipment in a minute. Let us take our glorious HK droid who desperately needs equipment. But before we can give him equipment, we need to level him up. Because he is a sorry level 6. So we probably got about... Uh, 10 levels worth of um, we got about 10 levels worth of leveling to do for him real quick and then uh, with this guy he's the dude that I'm toting around when I know I need to bust some doors and not it, it, like does it need to be shot does it need to be broken this is my guy that's it that that that's his role in life uh yeah he's gonna get skill points and those will go to skills that help him kill people and break things that's pretty much it <laughs> no talking yeah no well, well okay yeah i will keep him around for some talking too all right uh, and i noticed that he's almost as dark as my coffee almost all right let's level him up he gets a droid upgrade class 2. And, uh, he, he, oh yeah, he gets a whole 3 skill points, so it's a good thing he's not there for skill. Uh, I am going to keep his repair up, because that will help him when he uses the droid repair kits on himself. Because uh, that is a flat, plus your repair score, plus something else that escapes me at the moment. I'll look that up in a minute. Um... Honestly, awareness, I'm not going to worry too much about. Demolitions. Demolitions is really only used for setting, recovering, and disarming mines. If I've got him along, he's not setting any mines. He's going to be shooting them. So let me go ahead and just uh, max out his repair skill here. And then maybe, maybe I'll bump up his awareness once I get repair caught up. Uh, just because it, it would be nice to have somebody with a high awareness running around spotting stuff. Okay, accept, and level up, and attributes, and what do we get to play? Oh! Oh. 
Well, okay then. Um, strength at 16 is good. Dex at 16 is good. I mean, I'd like to see that a little bit higher given that he's primarily going to be uh, ranged. I'm going to give him a double hand. I'm going to give him a big old honking blaster and a uh, rifle. Not, not a pistol, a rifle. Uh, heavy weapons, if I can do that in this game. And, and he's going to be all, all back of the row mowing people down and stuff. Um, <laughs> he gets two of his skill points because of his intelligence. Yikes. And, yep, he doesn't need charisma. He doesn't really need the wisdom. Uh, well, will save would help. What really has me worried is that they started him with a constitution of 10. This is supposed to be my heavy hitter. Uh, like, he's supposed to be able to tangle with anybody. Not with a constitution of 10. So, uh, I think right until I get this up to maybe a 14 or so, at a minimum. Yeah, I'm going to keep dumping his uh, attribute uh, upgrades into constitution. Okay. And skills. Repair. Repair. And awareness. Okay. And accept. And level up. Skills. Alright. And there we go there. Okay. Feats. Ah, now we get to it. What do I want to do for him? I don't want to go down the two weapon fighting. Because that, that's going to be a waste on him. I want to give him the biggest blaster cannon I can. And, and two weapon fighting really only makes use of that if you're actually using uh, two pistols. I mean, it comes in handy if I give him like a double-bladed sword or two melee weapons or something like that, but that's not really going to be the best use of him. Caution, demolition, and stealth, he's not my skill guy. Not worried about it. Gearhead, same thing. Not my skill guy. Not worried about it. Power Blast, Rapid Shot, and maybe Sniper Shot. Those are going to be my go-tos. Um, I could bump up his weapons focus on blaster pistol. That is a possibility. Uh, but what I probably want to do is get him weapon specialization blaster rifle. Because like I said, that is my main focus with this guy. Is to give him the biggest blaster rifle I can. And let him use that. And this moves the uh, plus one attack to a plus two attack. So that's top contender for my list there. The droid upgrade class he gets automatically. Improved toughness would be good because that is uh, that gives him a little bit of damage reduction and extra hit points per level. Um, okay, that's not really okay. That that's the thing that he got for being him. Uh, dueling is nice, but that only helps with uh, single-handed weapons. One one-handed weapon and. That, that a blaster rifle does not count as a one-handed weapon. Uh, close combat's another one that really might be a good idea for this guy because right now you take so many penalties to attacking close up with a ranged weapon that anything you can do to cut that back means I don't have to equip, I don't have to figure out what I'm going to do when he gets into melee range. Uh, if I can crank up that close combat, that means that I can just let him, you know, have at it with the blaster rifle from point blank on out to range. So that, that, that just uh, bumped up anything I was going to do up here as a potential uh, feat. Especially since I know I've got a, a couple more coming. Uh, and getting the improved close combat would be nice too. Uh, droid interface. Oh, I don't remember seeing this skill. This feat gives the droid the ability to speak with other droids who don't speak a sentient language. I mean, he is technically my protocol droid. I mean, we, we all know which protocols he is most proficient in. That might be one of the things that I dump a feat into later when I get to that point. Uh... Dual strike. Dual strike's a higher probability with him than it is with anybody else. 
Uh, oh, the Assassin Protocols. That's probably going to level with him. Precise shot. Um, oh. Precise shot's another one that might be a good one. Because, again, I'm doubling down on blaster stuff, not melee. So I think what I'm going to do is, for this feat and the next feat, I'm going to do the close combat. And then I'm going to work between the precise shot, the improved, uh, the weapon spec, and then maybe start worrying with my flurry and power blasts. I never really made the most use of sniper shot in uh, previous builds and in the first Knights of the Old Republic. So if, I, if I've got feats to spare, I might put them in there, but not... Not right away. So let's take that first close combat. And accept. And level up. And skills. Repair. And awareness. Accept. Level up. Skills. Repair. And awareness. Okay. Feats. He got the modified assassin protocols automatically, which is nice. And we're going to get that improved close combat. So that means that if he is engaged in a target at short range, he gets a plus two to attack bonus. And the uh, melee attackers only get a plus two bonus against him instead of the usual plus six. Uh, I really wish that there was one more level to uh, to bring that down. But I, I don't foresee that becoming a problem. So we'll go from there. Okay. And accept and level up. And attributes. We're going to bump up his constitution again. And skills. We got repair. And awareness. And I guess I'll start dumping more into... Oh, I don't know. Maybe demolitions then? Not really going to matter. He's not my skills guy. Feats. All right, so I got both of the close combat. I think I'm going to go ahead and start working on that. No, let me do the, the weapon spec first. And then I'll start going through the, uh, the precise shot and all that. Because this gets me the best bang for the feet early on. And stays useful throughout. All right. So he's at level 12, we're going to level up. He's droid upgrade class 3, which is one of the reasons why I couldn't equip the best armor I have on him. Because he, he wasn't a uh, high enough level of droid. Okay. I accept, and level up, and skills, and sure. Okay, accept, level up, and skills. Okay. And feet. Now we've got the precise shot. We're going to add that. Okay. And level up. And we're going to bump up his constitution to 13. Okay. Skills. And accept. And this should be the last level we need to give him. And so we got our normal assortment of skills. And for feats. All right, do we take the precise shot two? Or do we start working on the rapid shot? More bolts down range is always good. On the other hand, that is a, a bonus to damage. Now that's a more immediate bonus to damage. All right, let's alternate. Let's, starting now, let's alternate. So I'm going to do rapid shot this time, and then I'll do the, the next precise shot, and rapid shot, precise shot, and so on. All right, let's add that. And accept. All right, so that means my two droids are now fully updated. Let's uh, equip Mr. HK now that I now that I can. Starting with his armor. 
All right, we got the Duraplating Mark I, which is a defense bonus of 9. The Quadrium Armor, which is a oh, defense of 7, but some immunities, which is always nice. Uh, modular Plating Mark II is 6, 6, and 4. So it looks like that Duraplating Mark I is going to be the best I can manage. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Mark I is the standard heavy armor used in large military droids and vehicles. Okay. Sounds good to me. Alright. Uh, droid Advanced Upgrade Slot. Uh, that brings him up to... Oh, that gives him the bonus feat to upgrade Class 3. No, nope, not a problem right now. Uh, motion Tracker. That bumps up his attack and awareness. Alright, that's not a bad idea. Perception Sensors. That bumps up his attack. Defense. And awareness and demolitions. Okay. Uh, droid systems fortification, which helps with his damage resistance. Okay. <laughs> the warfare upgrade. Attack plus two, con plus two, and... Oh. This would uh, negate the need to pick up all those extra blaster pistol feats. Because that's going to grant him all the weapons focus and proficiencies for blasters across the board. Alright, that's an attack plus two. Con plus two. Alright, so do I want the defense bonus of one or the feats? And skills. Alright. The awareness is nice, but that that's really not his strong suit. Uh, so, a defense bonus of plus one, or a constitution bump, which will come to a net plus one, uh, which would grant him more hit points. So, better defense or more hit points? You don't need more hit points if you have a better defense. On the other hand, there's always somebody with a bigger blaster than you expect. And, uh, hit points come in handy. I don't plan on giving him any, I, you know, I just don't plan on giving him any, any pistols. And I, it's just not worth it to, okay, the plus, the plus two to con might make it worth it. But let, let's go with the perception sensors. All right, what kind of shield do we want to give him? 60 points, 70 points, 100 points. 80 points, but it covers more stuff. Ooh. You know, let, let's just go with the Mark III. I got a few of those handy and uh, okay. Now. Uh, reflexes and dexterity. So that agility upgrade is a nice idea because that's going to help his two hit and defense anatomy library. <laughs> Plus three versus human. That's kind of nice, but that's a little too specific. Uh, fort and constitution. Uh, skills. Not an issue. Skills, not an issue. Ooh. A defense bonus of two. That, because again, he's my bruiser. So, reflex. Okay, so it's the agility upgrade and, no, oh, the motivator booster. Defense and a small bump to dex, or reflex and a big bump to dex. Let's go with the agility upgrade, because I really like having that plus three to dex. Uh, especially since I'm not going to be upgrading that by leveling anytime soon. And maybe for the next time, I'll... Uh reflex and another two to dex. Reflex on another three to dex. 
Now let's give him the motivator booster for this one, because that will round it up to an extra plus four to dex total, which gives all dex based skills an extra plus two and two more to defense. Because again, he's supposed to be my bruiser. Carbonite projector. Nah. Flamethrower. That's got promise. Uh, I probably really want that Ion Striker, though, because that will help with any droids we run into. Uh, Stun Plasma. Ooh. Okay. That Plasma Thrower is even better, because that does fire damage and ion damage. Short range, whereas the Ion Striker is medium range. Hmm. Yeah, let's give him the medium range. And then maybe the... No, that's short range. Do I really want something that's going to maybe possibly paralyze it now? Short. Medium. Eh, we'll try the stun. We'll see if that works. All right, that's everything except for something for melee. And he actually can't... It, it doesn't even give melee as an option. So he's got no melee options whatsoever. That's it. He shoots people or he shoots people. So what I might do is I might put this uh, droid disruptor in his secondary weapons list. Just because it does a massive ion bon ion damage bonus to droids. And that could come in handy. Alright. T3 should be as set as I can get him. So, let's go back to the party selection. And let's remove you. And remove you. And we're going to add Goto. So we can level him up. And who else can we level that we have not yet? Uh, let's check with Atten. Okay. No, just go to... All right. Goto's got a stupidly high dex and a really good con and intelligence. So he might be another one of my skill guys. Just because that, that, you can never have too many skill guys. Um, because he's got ranks in computer use, self awareness, repair, security, and nothing to treat injury. Yeah. So we'll see how many skill points he gets and then go from there. And then I can finish upgrading him once, uh, once I get that squared away. So let's level him up. You know what? I'll finish this in the next episode. So, you want to see how I upgrade them? You'll have to wait until the next episode. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And... If you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And 
there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.